Sales copy. Just saying the word sometimes makes writers shiver. Uh, that's why you can hire someone to write sales copy for you. So what is it? How can you make sure that you get good sales copy? What are some do's and don'ts? That's what we'll talk about today. The truth is good sales copy can generate interest, even in a debut book. That's why it's really important to write good sales copy. But how do you write good sales copy? So first, here's three things that you need to include or that your sales copy should do. So the first thing is a concise description of main characters. That would be your hero, your shiro, your villain. The main characters, a concise description. In the format that I use, that I um, adopted from the story equation, in the writer's retreat I went to that was hosted by Susan May Warren, says use an adjective and a noun. The struggling billionaire, the unemployed housewife, the, so you kind of, the adjective gives you a hint at what their biggest struggle is, what their biggest, what they're facing, the problem they're facing. It's a good character trait. And then the descriptor gives you what type of, usually their employment or their you know, job, how, so how they would identify themselves and says, Hey, what do you do? Oh, I'm an author. Okay. So that is the noun that you would use in that. So very concise description doesn't go into a lot. Doesn't have to be where they, you know, should not have an evolved of setting unless that plays an important part in the story or, you know, a lot of background information. That's not what we want. Okay. We need to get right to the heart of it. And that is the number two item, the story stakes. What's at stake for your pro for your characters? So that means you're gonna have to say what their main problem is and what's, what they're gonna lose if they don't solve it, okay? So story stakes are really important. So the earlier you say, say them, the better. Because why? Well, because people are like reading the copy. If they're into the second paragraph and they're like, okay, what? I don't even know what this is about. They're done. They might go on to the next book. You've got to capture their attention very early on. And a lot of times the stakes are the hook. Okay. So the other thing is you really need to hint at character arc. A lot of people are like, well, I don't want to give my story away. No, the readers don't want you to either, but they need to hint at what sort of problem is going to be facing your character, what sort of thing they're going on. If it's a fantasy and they're going on a quest, they want to know that. If it's a romance and it's um, enemy to lovers, these people are at odds before, they want to know that. So these are the kind of things that you have to hint at without giving too much away. Enough to tantalize them, but not give too much away. So how? Great, thanks for telling me what to include, but how? I still don't know how I'm doing it. And I still don't think I can sit down and write that good sales copy. Well, the first thing you should do is read every Amazon uh, sales copy page of books that are like yours or in your genre that you can. Read them all. Give yourself an hour and go and type in the search terms for your genre and just start reading. Go to the bestseller list. Go read the one from number one, number two. Just keep going down it and just read those descriptions. And then copy what sells you. Oh, I liked blah, 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 blah. Maybe even specific phrases that really jumped out at you that you think would work for your book. Copy them down. Oh, making notes. Taking notes, making notes, making note of what worked for me. What made me go, oh, I want to write the, I want to read this book. Oh, this is really great. Yes, that's a hook. Okay. And then notice that those blurbs will include snippets of reviews and endorsements. And sometimes if it's a famous one, they might have, you know, Stephen King said blah, blah, blah. And that's the very first thing before they even begin the rest of their sales copy. You should definitely include 
some snippets of reviews and endorsements that you've gotten for your book on that sales copy for Amazon. Shorter is better. Um, and an even shorter version of that is what you would use as the blurb on your back cover of your book. Okay. So are they the same thing? No. Okay. The back cover of your book is going to be even shorter, but an Amazon sales page or Smashboard sales page or Kobo sales page, wherever you're sell selling your books, um, should be long enough that it gives enough information to really capture them and includes reviews, several reviews. You might start with your most best thing at the top, but then give several more snippets down below so people can see what is called um, social proof, okay? People know, people, real people have read this book and this is what they think about it. So do include those things. Don't be afraid of that sales copy. Um, and don't be afraid if you're not getting a lot of sales to grab it, look at it and change it and try new, put some new, some new sales copy. So what resources do you have for sales copy? Where have you found good tips about writing sales copy for your Amazon books? I'd love to hear about it. Drop a comment below and let us know what else we should know about creating sales copy that sells books.